So today I have a different video for you guys. Usually I don't like to talk about problems too much and I want to keep this channel really positive and happy but I think in this moment there might be a lot of people out there who might benefit from what I have to say or who might need to hear what I have to say and I hope I can help them a bit. It's really not that easy, but I want to share my story. If you're going through a hard time because you lost a loved one or maybe someone you, you know lost a loved one, I hope that what I have to say will help you a bit. So let's start by saying what happened. Um, I lost my brother when I was 18, almost, almost 11 years ago. He was 15. I want to share what happened to me first and then I want to share all the things that helped me and all the things that didn't help me. So, my brother was born in 1993. His name was Marco. Here, it's my tattoo. And we were really, really, really close. I was the older sister, older by two and a half years, but we were really close. We would do everything together. Like, even though he was younger, I was happy when he went out with my friends and we had fun together. And I would sometimes chill with his friends and we were always playing together. He was my best friend. He was my brother. He was my best ally. He was my, really like my favorite person. We were always together. Just imagine that even though we do have two bedrooms, we always, wanted to sleep in the same bedroom always even when i was i remember i was like 17 and my mom was like why don't we restyle redecorate your room and i was like yeah but let's make sure that i can keep sleeping with marco we were really really close this is really a good thing because i have no regrets he knew how much i loved him i knew how much he loved me and we spent most of our time together so i really have no regrets what happened is that suddenly one morning he was 15 he had an aneurysm so he was playing i live close to my cousins and he was playing with my cousins and then we received a call from my cousin and he said that he passed out well he had an aneurysm so they brought him to the hospital, the ambulance came, it was very fast and he passed away that day. I know it's very different when you lose someone suddenly compared to when there is a long illness, so I can speak for myself, but it's just crazy. It really shakes your life because first of all, I lost my best friend and only brother and the person I loved the most at that time because we were always together and then my whole life was different because imagine in the family nothing is the same uh, your parents are destroyed and your aunts and your uncles it's a kind of pain I had never felt before and I've never felt ever since that's just so deep so I remember that for, I don't know, for the first three weeks, I don't know what I was doing with my life. I don't know. But even for the next months, I could not focus. I could not be interested in normal things. I didn't care about going out with my friends anymore. I didn't care about fighting with my boyfriend anymore. I didn't care about all the things that I used to care about. I thought they were all so stupid. Today I want to tell you all the things that helped me and the things that didn't. So let's get to it. One thing <laughs> that didn't help me, and trust me, it happened so many times. People comparing the premature death of a loved one to the death of their beloved pet. I Don't get me wrong, I love my dog, but that's a different thing. It's, it hurts really, but it's a different thing. And even just the death of a, like a grandparent, it can be really, really sad. I lost my granddad and it's really sad, but it's different when it's like your younger brother or when it's someone who by nature shouldn't be dead because he was 15. So a lot of people saying like, I understand you because I went through this 
it was already a like oh i can't deal with you right now it's not the same thing and i had a lot of anger so that didn't help me and it made me feel defensive immediately the second thing this is really what i want to tell you guys and the thing that helped me the most when something like this happens and you're especially if you're young i was 18 a lot of people will come to you and say like you're young you have to be strong for your parents now you have to be strong for the people you love don't be sad you have to be strong you have to be strong like no no i mean yes but there is a time to be strong and there is a time to just allow yourself to be hurt and sad and cry and you cannot feel guilty because i think that time helps it really does but without time is really hard that you can feel better soon but even with time it's unlikely that you will feel better if you don't want to feel better the real combo here is wanting to feel better allowing yourself to feel sad and just waiting trust me trust me at the beginning i wasn't interested in anything you can imagine okay so if you're not from italy in italy we have this big exam at the end of high school it's called esame di maturità and it's so big and terrifying and scary that a lot of people keep having nightmare about this exam for the rest of their lives so just imagine how terrible it is and i was a really good student so so i thought i would be terrified you know well i didn't care at all i didn't care it went well i was a good student but I wasn't interested. I wasn't interested in a lot of things. And that's okay. Again, what I want to say is take your time to feel sad. Keep wanting to feel better. Keep hoping that you will feel better soon. Keep doing things so that you do feel better. Maybe in the first period it's really hard but after that initial period when you feel like you just want to be home instead of going out, try and go out. But if you want to cry, cry. Time really helps. But don't feel guilty if you try and feel better because i've seen it with you know in the family a very common way to react is that person can't have fun anymore i don't want to have fun either i don't want to do fun things i feel guilty if i feel a little bit better that's not i mean you already know that doesn't make sense right but it's a very very common reaction okay maybe that you will try to do stuff that you used to like and at first it will be terrible i remember for me after marco died a few months after my aunt and my uncle they paid for a vacation for me and my friends to go have fun to the beach in sardinia and it was a crazy present right that was amazing <laughs> it worked in the sense that it, i was distracted but i was not a fun person to be around I was so mad and um, thank you guys, my friends, if you're watching this, thank you for dealing with me and putting up with me because when you're hurting like that, you are also a bit selfish. Th mm, that's okay at the beginning. I think it's understandable. Don't be too hard on yourself. So one more thing I want to tell you is when something like this happens, you feel this crazy emptiness. You feel this huge hole in your heart and you think your life is never 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 gonna be the same and you will never find someone to love the way you love that person and it seems like you're empty someone told me this thing and i use this a lot imagine you have a big vase and this vase is full of three four big rocks these big rocks can be like your parents and then your siblings and then your uh, your work you know it's just a few big rocks and it's full if one of these rocks is missing you feel like your vase is empty and so you feel empty and you feel desperate so what you can try to do is it's impossible to try and find a huge rock immediately with time you might build new big rocks right but immediately it's really hard to find but you can try and put in a lot of small rocks like a new friendship you you realize that that person really cared about you so that's a little rock your new hobby not much but it's a little rock try and put a lot of little rocks in your vase so that it's again and eventually 
you might find a new big rock. But no matter what, try and have that vase full. It's been almost 11 years. It does get better. You don't forget, but it gets better. Right now, I am able to talk about it. I am able to even have a smile on my face when I talk about him. I could have never done it in the first two, three, four years without crying. And you'll see that all the small things that don't make sense anymore. If you have a fight with your boyfriend, if you get a if you have a problem in the workplace with a co-worker, all these little things that don't make sense anymore will start making sense again. I am now able to enjoy small things. I enjoy traveling, I enjoy friendship, I value friendship. I get really sad if I if something happens to me and maybe it's something small, it's possible. One more thing is, when something like this happens, having a good support system is really important. But I was a teenager, so things might be different when you're a little bit older, but it was important for me to spend time with my family, but also to spend time with friends, people who were not that involved. Even though family can be a great, great support system, every time you are with them, you remind each other constantly how bad the pain is. It's good to know that you have them, but you'll also see, at least for me, it was a little hard to talk about it with them sometimes. It's personal, but for me, I didn't want to make them feel worse. So sometimes it was easier for me to spend time with people who were, you know, friends who were not in the family, who were not hurting that much. The reason why I'm also making this video now is because my brother passed away on April 19th and so I <laughs> really don't like April. I hope that this was not too much. If you're not going through a hard time like this, I understand how this can be a little bit too much. But if you are going through a hard time and you're living maybe something similar to what I lived, I want to tell you that it gets better. Just wait, try your best allow yourself to be sad when you have to keep in mind that i was lucky that at least i've had it for 15 years of my life of course now i miss him i still miss him but at least i had it imagine if i had never had him it's still worth it if this was useful or if you want to talk to me leave a comment or if you want more privacy you can even send me an email i'll get back to you thank you for watching I'll see you next time.